Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We head straight to our second conversation. And we're looking at the Abuja invasion or kidnapping where gunmen abducted six persons, lecturers, including their kids. And this is not the first time you were talking about uh, insecurity in the capital. Now, one good thing that in the capital, the capital should be one of the safest places, I mean, in the country. But that's not the case. Right now, the lecturers are also saying they are traumatized and they can't go to schools. And of course, you also have some quarters saying kids, you know, they need to take the kids and ensure that their kids are not in school uh, due to all of this that's ongoing. We do have a former commissioner of police uh, joining the conversation this morning, Lawrence Alubi. It's good to have you join us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, let's quickly share your thoughts on, uh, you know, the recent uh, kidnapping that happened in the University of Abuja and the fact that lecturers are saying that they are traumatized and they can't go back to school. Yeah, actually, that is very traumatizing. You know, not only the school itself, the entire nation. Abuja is a capital of Nigeria, and it's a uh, such incident has never occurred before. So I think it's very embarrassing. And the lecturers are off my time. So I think we have a call to say that the school, we have a call to do so. And clearly, the commission of, of health police command has shown. The school authority necessary action to stand in the future of the, of the university and all uh, all staff, lecturers, and the environment activities. Well, um, Mr. Alobi, I, I, I want you, your views on you know what this means because we're, we're not. This isn't something that we're used to hearing about concerning the federal capital territory. Um, I remember there was a time when there were stories that, um, you know, bandits had placed a flag or, or Boko Haram had placed a flag at Shiroro uh, area, Shiroro Dam area. Um, and of course, they, they when, well, when that happened, people started to say, oh, you know, it seems that these terrorists are getting closer to Abuja. So does this, you know, make, you know, do, do these two e events, you know, start to, you know, correlate with each other? Um, should people living in the FCT start to live in fear that maybe the insecurity in different parts of the country has gotten to the FCT fully? No, no, it's here. I think it's really constant. The government itself, like the control providers and the government, the security and the citizens, and the social and the control providers so we don't just do it on what is the We will give the best to provide the best so that Also, 
Oh. <coughs> Mr. Lobby, it's not it's not very uh, clear uh, hearing you this morning. Okay, well, um, we're we're struggling with the sound and the feed uh, from your end this morning, um, but I, I I think you can also quickly go ahead and share. Uh, with us, you know, what, what, the, what the improvements in security need to, you know, immediately come into play here, um, not just in Abuja, but for the rest of the country. In what ways do, would you say the Nigerian government needs to immediately improve on uh, its security um, uh, structure and investments? Yeah, you say security, security is a country. I said that they expect all over the country. Like today now, I'm not a number in the military election, and the police and military, the theater, all sorts of have mobilized massively to another day in the, because of the threat. The thank God the IPOP has suspended their down order, and we pray that uh, an Ambrosian will come out in mass to vote and 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 try their, their, their franchise and how to the political process of electing their, their, their government. The security issue is the point there that the thing today is it, it chemically driven and capital intensive. But they see the people who the most important have not been included as expected. Not only the police, but in terms of the I meant that <coughs> My party, my party, public, just in that decree, for instance, the police less than 500,000 of, of the, you know, the, the Nigerians were over more than 20 million people. Considering the, 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 the vast nature of our country, the geography, I don't, I see all these are the state is expected and it's expected. Sometimes all the effort being made will not be the desired result of this, result of this challenge. But the government should fund the, fund, fund the, the, the police. And again, uh, we have that now. We don't have today a national policing strategy that that can enable all the take all the actors, state and state actors, to know how to navigate, how to their functions, how they should collaborate, how they should synergize. So these are they will have a national policing strategy. And framework that will also enable the police and lead agencies to give a new direction on police and law enforcement in this country. <coughs> the citizens also to be very conscious, living feeling that only the government and the civilians should progress the security of their own security too, and take action. And it's like if like, can like provide like the houses, they have gadgets, and also how to educate their support or consciousness. How to manage, manage information about their life and life of other persons, and also know how to ensure that they are the housemates, houseboys, and house girls are not are not allowed are not being able to capitalize and compromise the security of the of, of their of their, of their, of their uh, parents. All right, Mr. Alubi. So I think it all it should be done holistically. And if they tell me that they also have a duty, it's a point that in this country, Nigerians are focused on their rights, on their rights, to the detriment of the obligations and responsibility as citizens. Right. You see, Mr. Alobi, um, um, apologies because of the quality of sound. Um, I'm, we have to apologize. The quality of uh, feed from um, our guest is from Lawrence Alobi this morning is the former. Commission of Police, um, but it's not very clear uh, here and exactly what he's saying. So we'll, we probably would have to reschedule this uh, conversation and speak a little bit more on uh, security uh, sometime during the day or sometime next week. But thanks anyway for joining us and for being a part of the program. This is where we will be wrapping up for this morning and of course for the week. We'll be back here again on Monday morning. For now, it's goodbye from us. I am Messi Bopo. Do have a great morning. And I am Osaogi Ogbawa. Wishing you a great weekend ahead.